What is up guys? Welcome back to another video about Delta Pro Ultra and today it's gonna be a special one. We're gonna take some tools and tear it apart and see what exactly it's made of and what kind of craftsmanship and engineering went into this product. Let's get started. Oops! It's a complex product, but in fact the tools required to disassemble this product are not complex at all. So what we need is a regular long screwdriver, probably need a multi-tool just in case, little tweezers, alien head screwdriver. Could be electronic, could be manual. And as you already guessed, the most juicy, the most interesting part is gonna be this inverter. See what's inside of it and how this whole brand new cooling system works. Battery, of course, is great, but we're not gonna focus on that today because, hey, there is not too much things to see. It's just battery cells with BMS in it. Now, without further ado, let me take it apart. First, we're gonna pull out the cables that are connecting the battery with the inverter. Put that side and put that on the floor for now. First of all, let's find all the for the screws. We can use this beautiful Leatherman multi-tool. By the way, if you have Leatherman, let us know in the comments. Let's use this to pull out those tiny little things. I think we are good for now. So let's switch to the screwdriver. Bang, guess what? There is one more cover under another cover. <laughs> there are a lot more screws that we're gonna pull out. Very unexpected, but hey, let's get going again. Years later. Now, 2000 years later, after all the screws are out, we can see we have a couple of compartments here. It's basically a couple of doors. I think you would be wondering why we have those doors over here. And the reason being is that part of the Part of the boards are connected to the top board or cover of the product. So when the top cover of the product is installed, there is a way to connect the cables to the main board after it's already installed. Now let's pull out the cables from here. That would be one, two, three, four. Okay. And now the moment of truth, the moment of pulling up the top cover one more time. Oh, damn it. Hey, that's not too bad. Eh? Oh, you see actually the screen and all the controls and USB panels are connected right here and they go over here through the door and connect to the motherboard over there. Okay, let's move on. Now, what are we looking at right here? So big box is a inverter and there are a couple of inverters inside of it. Delta Pro Ultra has two MPPTs and right here we have part of our brand new X cooling cooling system and particularly over here we're looking at the radiator part and if you look through it actually you will see there are some copper pipes going through this and of course we have more cables to pull out before we moving further with our disassembly oh let's pull out this big one this big one connects the inverter with the front outlets okay this one is disconnected now we're gonna get rid of the grounding connections here as well we need to disconnect the front output panel okay the moment of truth Bang. Oh, oopsie. We still have some ground cables holding us. And the ground cables are for, I see, for the charging module. So we have all kind of charging inputs right here, including uh, Anderson output, actually, solar input and AC input. So we gotta get rid of that. Done. Finally, victory. Oh. I almost thought it's a victory, but it's not. Not yet. Let's pull this out. Okay, so let's see what actually we're looking at here. So obviously standard AC connectors, sockets. So we got a lot of them, actually four of them with some MOSFETs. And uh, we also do have the 30 amp output and 240 volt LL14 output, NEMA LL14. So all of it here in behind, pretty clean cable work and cable management here as well. And you know it's very clean. If you look at other products out there in the market, uh, you cannot find anything that is built with that much of a rigidity and the engineering thought. Now let's put this aside for now too. And we gotta continue our journey of taking off the side panel because here on the side we have a high voltage PV. PV stands for photovoltaic, I believe. We have in and output port, also have an extra battery port right here. 
signal cables should go as well. Get this out as well. There we go. Those are the copper plates that are replacing cables. I'm telling you, this thing built like a tank. Okay, perfect. Feels very solid in hands, you know, very, very solid. And I like the design of the caps covering it all right here, like a little drawers. Now let's move on. Let me pull up my sleeves and we give it a try. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's not light, I'm gonna tell you. So we're looking at the full slab of EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra with inverters, with MPPTs, with all sort of connectors and controllers. Now, let's do this. We're gonna put this aside for now. And here you can see as a part of, of the cooling system, we do have four fans that are pulling the hot air out from actually from the bottom to the top. And it goes through the radiator system and goes to the top. But more on that later. And then we're gonna take off this aluminum cover and see what's inside. And I just can't stop mentioning how much thought went into it. Even the main aluminum board and chassis of the product is considered to run the cables through with these little hooks all over everywhere, like here, like there, like there. So nothing in this product is an afterthought. And as I mentioned, it's not the same case when it comes to non-EcoFlow products especially portable power stations and home solar systems. Da, 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 Bang, there we go. One interesting fact about the cooling system is that here on top of it, and actually on the bottom, it's the same situation. It's almost mirrored. On the bottom, there is also one cooler to run the air horizontally through this product. So not only we got four coolers, four fans on the external, but we also have one and two inside of it so the airflow is very consistent. There is one important technical detail which is actually not a detail it's like a core structure of the product that we need to address right here is the sandwich design basically. So what we're looking at right here in the middle is an aluminum chassis board and everything in this product is based on this board. And the most interesting thing and something that actually nobody in the industry does and we probably the first and maybe even the last ones to do this um, is that we have a mirror design. So there is a part of MPPT system on one side and there is another MPPT on the other side. So everything goes in the middle. Basically it's like a you know, piece of ham in between a couple of toasts. Now, because I cannot put it face down with all these resistors and everything else, so I'm gonna hold it and try to disassemble the other side as well. All right, now let's pull this top cover or bottom cover. I think it's a bottom cover. Oh, right here. Remember what I told you about the other fan on this side to create a consistent flow? Bang, wow. What a design, guys. Just look at this beast. Look at how much engineering thought went into designing and manufacturing this product. Honestly, when you look at it from inside, you start understanding where the prices are coming from and where is our confidence for such a long warranty comes from. Because this thing is literally next level rigidity and reliability. So remember we were talking about the X cooling, the brand new cooling system. So here is how it works precisely. Aluminum, obviously a very good transistor for the temperature in general. So you see this aluminum box right here, the one on this side and another one, I'm not sure if you can see on the other side right there. So this box contains particularly hot parts like inductors and transformers basically the parts that have a very high heat loss. And it's actually filled, the whole box right here, it's filled with the heat conductive glue. All the heat from the parts goes into this aluminum board and then flows into the copper plates, as you can see right here. There's fluid flowing inside of them. So they go to the radiator and then those fans that are sitting under the radiator blowing all the heat all the way up. So that's kind of a rough explanation of how this works. And the benefit that you get from this particular design as an end user is that you don't really need to run your fans very fast. Even though this is a very powerful inverter, output 7200 uh, watts. 
but you don't have to make it noisy. It's actually rather silent because the fans can still run at a decent speed because most of the heat is gonna be dissolved right here. On the other hand, you can see how tight this whole product is. So there is not a lot of like empty spaces and being able to put up that much technology and that many different boards and parts all in such a small body, it's amazing. So there we go, guys. That's a teardown of EcoFlow's brand new Delta Pro Ultra. Let us know what kind of questions do you have. Write us a comment. We'll do our best to answer most of your comments, if not all. And if you want to learn more about this product, don't hesitate to join our community on Facebook. It's called EcoFlow Delta Users. It has over 60,000 members across the globe that are using EcoFlow Delta Series products. They're happy with it. They're sharing their experiences. And you can ask any questions about Delta Pro Ultra or any other EcoFlow products in that group. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe, and write a comment. It really, really helps with the work that we're doing here. Thanks again and see you in another video. Bye. Oh, and by the way, don't forget that you can purchase a coupon for this product. So you're shaving off 1000 bucks straight off this product. If you want to learn more about it, click in the link in the description. I think this time is real. Bye-bye. See you in another one. Bye.